When dinosaurs roamed this land, it looked very different. Hot and humid, not dry and hard. In fact, very hard. Well, these images are from paleontologists 10 years ago, discovering something from about 90 million years ago. We are thinking that maybe this animal died and was dried and, <clears throat> and partially crushed. Femur, no? The team has been back to the site four times over the last decade, digging through hard sandstone. This week, they published their findings. Not only did they discover one of the most complete skulls of a large meat-eating dinosaur ever, but it turned out to be a species that has never been found before. Oh, the, the, this is uh, this is a highlight of my career in, in many ways. Peter Makovicki is one of the leaders of what was an international team. It actually included a Canadian paleontologist as well. It was the team that got to pick the new dinosaur's name. They went with Meraxes Gigas. Meraxes was a dragon in a Game of Thrones book, and a member of the team is a fan. We bandied about several other possible names. Um, this one had sort of the, the best ring to it, I would say. Um, kind of rolls off the tongue. Now, Meraxes was about the size of a school bus. It was more than 10 meters long and more than 4,000 kilograms. But one thing that makes the discovery particularly important is what it says about evolution. Meraxes evolved completely separately from other big-headed and small-armed dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus rex, for example, didn't come around for about 20 million more years. But they both somehow evolved in the same way. Their arms got smaller as their heads grew bigger and, more important, for hunting. They're the main tool, if you will, for procuring and manipulating food items of presumably very large size. The team is still studying the fossils they recovered at the site and will go back. There's much more to be excavated and there may still be secrets to be uncovered. Mike Armstrong, Global News.